All right, guys, it's uh, Pierre. I'm here with Chris uh, once more for a technique that I, uh, I'm going to demo that I hit in, uh, in the previous role that you guys saw with uh, Hassan. Basically, what I was trying to achieve is like uh, I was trying to play uh, technically with uh, kind of the overwrap crucifix slash high ground um, uh, position where I can like tread in submissions and like come up in better position. Um, by the way, I'm going to shout out uh, Officer Grimy. He's uh, he's one of the guys that does it a lot. And uh, basically, I've been trying to play with it just to see where it leads. So it works especially well when my partner has a double on me. All right. Let's just get the head on the outside here. If I feel like I'm going to like get put down, I'm going to kind of get an over wrap here. And I'm going to try, if possible, to put all the pressure on his head. All right. So either he puts me down this way or I force him to the ground right here and then hit a bridge from this position. All right. So. The idea once I'm here is basically I'm trying to cover the inside of his uh, like kind of bicep and shoulder because my partner is going to try to like open up here and try to go on one side or the other. So I make sure I have a bridge and I can push back into here. All right. So what I was saying basically is how like uh, once we get in this position, like I was trying to uh, hit on the sun at Dars from there, like forcing him to turn towards his left. So if you turn towards me here, uh, Chris, like I was trying to retain him with the bicep right there. And now if he was to complete the turn, I would shoot my arm right there and like kind of cover the head, release the bicep, and then I could come back into a Dars from this position. This is like what I was trying to hit, but Hassan was wise to it, like I said. So instead, what was happening is I, I was in this crucifix position and because he didn't want to turn or anything, I would start using my legs, right? I can prevent him from turning one side or the other. Like Chris, if you try to give me a reaction, yeah, both sides, it's going to be hard for him to turn. So now once he kind of settle, I can start like shooting my leg over, right? So I'm going to come here. I'm going to sprint out to make him fall into this hole right there where I can bring my right leg over and start finding my own hand. All right. Now, once I'm here, I can lock up some kind of triangle or I can start coming up here, finding a Chimura as well as falling into a tighter triangle. So it's really, I'm playing between retaining my partner from going one side or the other or uh, if he does turn a lot towards me I can shoot my darts here or if he stays there I can make the space and shoot one leg over even if he starts defending this leg you know I can kind of start using my second leg get my triangle and slowly climb into a choke as well as regaining top position and uh, getting to a better position all right so it's uh like I said, it's like a something I've been playing with uh, for the fun of it, especially in training. It's like trying to get into positions that are maybe we're not used to, and see what your partner does and try to uh, get into submissions like you're either learning or try to improve your position. So that's pretty much it. But it, it works really well against like people shooting double or when you get the front hand lock, you feel maybe you won't get the choke. You can turn the guy over and then get a get in that position from there. All right, guys, so that's it for the technique. Thanks for watching, and uh, make sure you like and subscribe. 